What's up guys, it's Ed from TechSource and welcome to part four of my water cooling journey. It's been a bumpy start, but uh, I've learned a lot and I think what really set me back a week was the paint. But good news is I finally got the paint and I resprayed everything and it looks so much better. So check that out guys, this yellow is so much better than before and it actually matches with the ramp sticks and the cables of course which I'll show you guys later and also the coolant. The coolant is going to be very similar to this if not it's going to be pretty much identical. So let's go ahead and get some progress done with this build guys. I'm going to put together the brackets on uh, the GPU, I'm going to put back the CPU block bracket and then finally work on the rest of the build. I'm going to put on the radiators, see if we can do the pump in this video. So yeah, lots to do guys, let's go ahead and start cracking. And there we have it guys, we are finally back on track, so much better than before, I don't know if you guys watched episode 1, or I think it was episode 2, it was like basically pitch black, the only yellow were the ram sticks, but now we have a little more yellow in the build of course, you got the CPU block, bracket, thumb screws, SLI bridge, and someone is calling me. And of course we got the back as well, which came out beautifully. Overall I'm definitely liking uh, the way this build is going, so let's go ahead and put on the fans, on the radiators, maybe we get the pump going and then continue on with this build. Alright, so the big radiator is going to be mounted on the top here, like this actually. So that way I can run the tube from here straight to the CPU, out of the CPU to the GPUs and then run the tubing down here to the reservoir and of course back to this radiator. Another phone call, oh my god. So yeah, and this one is going to go on this side. I just don't know if it's going to go this way or the other way because you can choose which side the hole is. So I don't think it really matters too much, actually probably. I'll probably put this on that side, so I'll probably flip this over. I just don't want to put anything on it yet or tighten it because I might have to change things up a bit. But that side is definitely correct. So I guess let's go ahead and start mounting the fans on there and then mount this to the case. Put on this thing over here and then uh, yeah, see what happens. Alright, so here is our first problem. So because I had to put these on the top here, the um, top portion of the case does not sit flush. As you guys can see, there is a gap. The thumb screw on here is pretty much blocking 
uh, this entire bracket to sit flush with the radiator as you guys can see so I'm gonna have to I guess deal with it there's no other way around it if I'm gonna mount this on the top of the case there is no other way around this so I'm gonna have to tighten the other side and see what happens I can't keep up I can't it's not possible we don't know where it came from we can't imagine where it goes so surprisingly I managed to make it work there's maybe about a centimeter gap between the bracket and the radiator I don't know if you guys can tell which is fine uh, it's not really gonna be noticeable and it's not gonna prevent the radiator from being mounted uh, at the top so let's go and put this back on the case and work on the other side Houston, we have another problem. So apparently this part sticking out, as you guys can see, is not good at all. <laughs> uh, this part is pushing against the case and it's not letting me align the holes near the top. I don't know if that even makes any sense, but um, this part is basically pushing this entire piece to the right and the holes over here are not aligning with the holes on the case. So I don't know what to do. I just think this radiator is, maybe the design, I feel like it's the right size, but I feel like the, the way they designed it, you know, going like this, the slanting is not compatible with this case. So there's only two options, or three options actually. First option is obviously order a different radiator that doesn't, doesn't have something like this sticking out. If it sits flush, if it sits flush with this bracket here, it would have been 100% fine. But the fact that it's sticking out like this is not going to work with this case. Option two, I scratch the build and work on a different case, which obviously I don't want to do. And then you got option three, which basically hug the PC and jump off a bridge with it. Because honestly, this is like frustrating. Alright guys, so this is what I have done for today. I would say I'm at least 50% done with the build, so I've done a lot of progress today. I just wish that the radiator fit on the top, I would have pretty much been done with the first half and then the next step would be, well I still have to do the reservoir of course and then figure out uh, how I'm going to be looping this. As you guys can see the colors are actually going together much better, much better than before than the previous yellow, yellow, so I'm very excited about that. Can I, I just can't wait to see how this whole thing goes together, especially with the coolant and the LED lights, so I think it's gonna look really sick, guys. Let me know uh, if you guys enjoy the build log so far, if you guys are enjoying this color scheme. Let me know if you guys have any feedback down below in the comment section. As always, if you guys enjoy my build logs, be sure to leave a like to show your support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.